What's up everybody, Zach from Zach's Hockey Box here, and today we are doing a video a little earlier in the week than we've been posting lately, uh, mainly because we have the Stanley Cup Finals, or Stanley Cup Finals, Stanley Cup Playoffs, that's what I'm going to say, starting tonight, so I want to do a video kind of going over what I'm thinking, what I'm looking forward to in these playoffs. I have this very awesome hat I found randomly out of Marshalls here in the state, uh, in Chicago. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, the 2021 Stanley Cup Champions with no... Uh, discernible markings of who won the Stanley Cup that year. Uh, that was kind of fun to find. It was like $5 at Marshall's. I'm like, I'm picking that up. I'm going to find a find an excuse in a video to wear that in. Here it is. Because I also have my All-Star jersey from this year that I got at the last Chicago Blackhawks game that many, me, and Kitty, me and Kitty Commentary went to. Um, we have kind of now gone two years in a row to the last game the Blackhawks play. I'm kind of making a tradition at this point of uh, just going and kind of watching uh, the glass game here where we can kind of watch and enjoy hockey. Um, but yeah, so they had this on clearance, so I picked this up. So now I have a all-star jersey from this year. So yeah, I thought I'd wear this ensemble for this video, and we're going to be opening up two of these hanger packs, which are now available. Uh, I know at Target is where I got these ones here in the States. I'm not sure again in Canada where you can pick these up. I'm guessing like Walmart and stuff like that. Local card shops, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, at least Target has them here. I'm guessing well, Walmart will get them here in the States. Um, I'm going to assume Marzenoble will get some, but I'm not sure. I haven't looked there in, the, in a minute. But we'll be opening up these two. And then um, along with those, we will also be opening up the 2021-22 rookie, or star rookies box. So hopefully we'll be pulling those autos or getting auto. Hoping for a Raymond or a Cider. Those are what I want. Um, and also it gives us a kind of a look into who will probably be the big rookies to get in series two, which I'm excited about as well, which has now been scheduled officially well, scheduled as of right now for June 1st. We'll see if that actually stays true. I kind of don't like that it's coming out that late in the season because playoffs will be getting pretty close to ending at that point, And that's when series two is coming out. So that's going to kind of suck, but, uh, we're gonna hope at least we're getting. I guess I guess that's a positive, right? At least at least we're getting a series two, right? <laughs> the way everything's been going, and um, I am planning. Don't hold me to this. I'm hoping to. I'll make more of an announcement as it gets closer to get a case of series two and maybe do like a live stream and open the whole case and see what we get. Um, something along those lines for series two because I really want the cider in the Raymond. Maybe get a clear cut of one of them. That'd be awesome. But yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. Some of these openings. And uh, talk about the playoffs that start tonight. Now, um, not going to lie, I forgot to double check all the playoffs that are starting tonight, all the rounds. Um, I do know that the big one for tonight is Toronto and uh, Tampa Bay. That's the big, uh, the big marquee game, I would say. The one that everyone's going to be looking forward to getting to and uh, watching. Is this just base? I think this is just a base pack, the first one. But, um... I did put in my brackets. I did pick Tampa Bay to win that series. Just, again, recency bias, I think, is what's driving me mainly. But I would love to see Toronto upset. More or less, my bracket, if it comes true, would be awesome. But I also don't mind if some of those teams break my bracket. Like a Toronto beating Tampa Bay would be kind of nice. Um, just because I'm kind of cheering against Tampa Bay winning the Stanley Cup this year. I don't, I don't want to see that again. Um, so I am definitely pulling for Toronto in that series. But... Um, Again, I, I think overall, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be Tampa Bay in that series. Uh, I believe Edmonton, LA starts up tonight, which uh, I am pulling for Edmonton in that series. I think Edmonton should win that hopefully. Um, so that is what I'm hoping for in that one. Uh, trying to think what else is there. Um, I know I have New York taking on Pittsburgh, but yeah, I'm pretty much my brackets end. Uh, I did two different brackets. I'm probably doing one or two other ones because you go to Cool Hockey right now. They have one where you can enter a bracket and you get a chance to win a golf trip or something like that uh for um the best bracket or i think it's a perfect bracket you get the golf trip some of those lines but i'm gonna be going to cool hockey and uh entering a bracket for them as well but i have my bracket pretty much ending with uh i believe it is florida and the calgary flames in the stanley cup finals so you got a team in there that hasn't been in the finals since 1996 and hasn't won a round since 1996 against the calgary flames who uh yeah, hasn't what well, they've been to the finals what 2004 and then they won it in 89. So, got some teams in there that have not been in the finals in a long time and haven't won it in forever or ever. So, I'm hoping that comes true, but we'll see how that all works out. I do have, I think, Colorado losing to Calgary in the conference final, if I remember correctly. Yeah, again, it's that's 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 my hope. We'll see if any of that comes true. Um, again, I think it's just a lot of fun to do bracket challenges. 
it's re it doesn't cost any money and it's just it's fun to do it but um yeah i'm hoping that the playoffs are really good there's so many like it's so much this year's playoffs i feel like is so much of a toss-up of who's actually going to win oh my god we didn't get a young guy but we did get a jonathan huberto orange dazzler interesting all right I guess I'll take that. I don't think I have that one, so I will take that Dazzler for the collection. No Young Guns, though. So two packs and no Young Guns. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. No uh, no cutting of us putting the Young Guns into the binder, which if you guys haven't watched that video, last week's video is up, where we open up some products, add some uh, some Young Guns to our binder, and, uh, yeah, you guys get to see us put it in the binder and see how the collection's coming along for the binder set. But yeah, um, so yeah, definitely go watch that. I'll try and make sure I link the videos at the end. I'm really bad at doing that on this channel. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just really bad at getting on the computer and doing it. It doesn't take that long. I just, I'm just really bad at doing it. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to these playoffs. I'm so excited to see just St. Louis. Um, I think St. Louis, Minnesota starts up tonight too, which is again, just another amazing series. So it's just there's so many good, amazing series that are coming out, um, are coming up this week, and I cannot wait for it. So uh, let me know in the comments below what your brackets are, who your picks are for the, the, the playoffs, um, who you're picking for the finals, who you're picking for upsets, because uh, I'm sure there'll be at least one upset. Um, I know some people are thinking that, um, what is it? Wow, blinking. That Florida might be upset by uh, the, 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 geez, the Washington Capitals. I'm blinking on people's, the team's names here. So that's something that I know people are thinking might happen. I don't, I don't know. I, we'll see how Ovechkin plays. Again, there's just so many questions up in the air. I cannot get this little pack open. So you see, like, there's this little tab up here, but I can't, that won't rip. I'm really struggling with this pack. I'm trying to talk, I'm trying to open cards. But yeah, um, just a lot of stuff I'm looking forward to in the playoffs. I, I think I've kind of covered most of just what I'm excited about. So, Let's see what we get in this rookie pack. If you guys haven't opened it, again, you get all the rookies from this year. So you'll see a lot of the um, ones from Series 2. But uh, Quentin Byfield, itchy, itchy in my ear. Quentin Byfield, again, is a big highlight one. Um, they did show Matt, Matthew Boldy is going to be in Series 1 of next year, but they had like a preview of the cards. The young guns look really cool for next year. Uh, I'm kind of excited for that one. So Matthew Boldy is not going to be in this one. Jeez. Camera. Stop shaking. <laughs> but, yeah, so Matthew Boldy will be in next year's stuff, but the Young Guns look really nice. I'm trying to think of, uh, oh, sorry, of uh, other ones that we are going to be looking forward to coming up this year. I don't know, Alexander Holt I'm looking forward to. Um, Niles Lundquist, I haven't really watched him a lot, so we'll have to see how he does. Cole Perfetti, I think, obviously more insider. Vitaly Pokolzin, Lucas Raymond. Uh, Philip Tomasino would be great to get. Anton Lindell, who looks like he's going to be a really promising center uh, for the, the, the Florida Panthers here. We got a Mason McTavish, obviously is going to be another really good one. William Eklund, and uh, I don't really know the Jake Neighbors. He's one I don't know, but it looks like we didn't get an auto out of that either. So not an amazing opening card-wise, but this is just kind of a do a awesome season. I really enjoyed watching what the Red Wings could do. I know they just fired all their coaching staff, so that's going to be interesting to see who we get to replace all the coaching for the Red Wings. So kind of an end of season, awesome time. Hope you guys enjoyed the season and cannot wait for the playoffs to start tonight kind of video. I wanted to put this out before the playoffs started so we can uh, open a few cards and kind of celebrate real quick together that we have playoff hockey starting in probably a couple hours after this video goes live. So getting ready for that. I don't know what jersey I'm going to wear. i got to figure that all out, how I'm going to watch it. It's because I might have to get a sling back which is how i've been watching a lot of hockey this year so i might have to get that in order to get a tv provider so i can watch an espn plus app it's a whole thing but i will be watching as much of the playoffs as i can and i will be talking a lot about them in the upcoming videos of the next few months so hopefully you guys are looking forward to it hopefully you guys can watch a lot of the playoff hockey because it is one of the best things to watch uh when it comes to sports uh the sporting world is playoff hockey i love it so much but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the quick little opening get to see some product we haven't opened up yet and um I'm hoping to maybe do like a Series 1 retail box soon. That'll probably be coming up soon. And um, again, hopefully Series 1 comes out in the next couple weeks here and we'll be able to get uh, opening some of that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Enjoy the playoffs, guys. Thanks for watching us this whole season. And looking forward to opening up some more product for you guys very, very soon. Thanks for subscribing. We'll talk to you guys again soon.